just been working on doing the brakes. Um, truck has been had was in a flood, so the brakes had water in them, bearings. Actually, we'll take you up here and show you what the front wheel bearings look like. They're nasty. When I pulled the cap, water came pouring out and all the way over to the doorway. So it had about a pint to a quart of water in it. Some of the tools I've had to make socket for the um, big nut, just flat plate welded together, nut stuck on the top socket. This is a inch and a sixteenth socket with a with the back end cut off of it and a nut, an inch and a half nut welded to it and all the threads removed. That goes on the bottom anchor cam adjusting nut. There's your bottom anchor cam. If you rebuild the brakes, one thing you'll want to do is make sure that the flats here and all this is all straightened out before you put it all back together. You'll be happy with yourself if you do. Um, this is the nut uh, socket. It's a 9 deep well impact socket and basically went in and ground away two of the flats on the top and two on the bottom to make it oval shaped so it will fit over the end of that seems to work really well it also what it does is this goes on to tighten that nut down then this goes up inside so you can hold this with a wrench and tighten that down and you don't lose your adjustment. Worked really well. And this is, like I said before, it's a 7 16 deep well socket with a piece of pipe welded on the end of it to lengthen it and then a nut welded to that and then everything drilled out so the hose for the brake bleeder thing can fit through it. That also worked real well too.